It's 3 a.m. and I'm so tired, but I can't let this new anti-gay attack ad go unanswered. Let's have a look. A close race for governor. Lincoln Chafee gets just 36% of the vote. Yeah, and you know who got even less? Every other candidate. In fact, of the seven guys running for governor, only one was on the record as opposing marriage equality. So that means that two-thirds of Rhode Island voters wanted a governor who supports equal marriage. Neat. Fewer votes than the Cool Moose Party. Ha <laughs> the Cool Moose Party. What? That's a different race for a different office with different candidates and the Cool Moose Party is from a different year. What are you even talking about? 80% of Rhode Islanders want the chance to vote on marriage. That's a great idea. Let's vote on everyone's marriage because I can't think of a better way to protect something than by voting on it. And besides, shouldn't the bedrock of society be given the same consideration as America's Funniest Home Video? Also, that 80% number, you know who paid for that study? The same people who want to vote on marriage. What an unbelievable coincidence. Call Lincoln Chafee and tell Yes, do call the governor and remind him that a poll in August showed that 59% of Rhode Islanders support marriage equality. Oh, there's the moose again. They really got a thing for that moose. Anyway, as you can see, the National Organization for Marriage paid for this ad. Let's hear what their director in Rhode Island, Chris Plant, has to say about gays. Same-sex marriage enshrines a tragic situation into law. Oh, how so, Chris? Uh, when ch parents die and, and we have orphans, we have divorce and all those things, we see those as tragic situations. Ah, gay, dead, what's the difference? Hey, why don't we get to vote on orphans? 